Okay, so here's going to be what I think hopefully is a bit of a fun video, and this is going to be a little bit of a brain teaser, so just something for you to, to have some fun with. So this is based on the movie The Labyrinth, and it's the two-door puzzle, and it's if you've never seen The Labyrinth, it's a wonderful movie. It starred the late, great David Bowie. Jennifer Connelly is in it as well. So we'll look at the, the problem that crops up in The Labyrinth, but it's a slight variation of uh, another problem that I found from the... The, the puzzle guru, Martin Gardner. So here's his puzzle. We're not going to address exactly this one. We're going to look at the one that's in the labyrinth, but I'll leave you with this one to, to mull over after you've watched this one. So, okay, in the, the Gardner puzzle, it says you've got a logician. He's vacationing in the South Seas. He's on an island, and on the island, there's two tribes. Uh, in one of the tribes, the people just lie about everything. They always tell lies. And the other tribe, they always tell the truth. So he comes to a fork in the road, and he has to ask one of the bystanders which branch he should take to reach a village. So he doesn't know whether he's talking to one of the liars or to one of the truth-tellers. So he thinks for a moment, then he comes up with a question, and based on that reply, he knows which road to take. So here's something for you to think about. So what is the question that the logician asks so that he can deduce which way to go? So let's look at the, the, the actual puzzle that pops up in the movie The Labyrinth. So in it, uh, Sarah comes to these two door people and she has to uh, solve the riddle. So if you've never seen the movie, let's take a look at it. I'll show it to you real quick. Let me skip ahead a little bit to where it actually pops up. Here we go. It keeps changing. What am I supposed to do? Well, the only way out of here is to try one of these doors. One of them leads to the castle of the center of the labyrinth, and the other one leads to certain death. Oh, no. Which one is which? Uh, we can't tell you. Why not? Um, we don't know, but they do. Oh, then I'll ask them. Okay, so here comes the riddle, the puzzle. Uh, no, you can't ask us, you can only ask one of us. Mm -hmm. It's in the rules, and I should warn you that one of us always tells the truth, and one of us always lies. That's a rule, too. He always lies. I do not. I tell the truth. Oh, what a lie. <laughs> so what He's question is Sarah going to ask? All right. And? Okay, so she was about to ask the question, and that's the solution, so I had to stop it there. So what question should Sarah ask in this movie what would be a great question to ask so that she can find the way to the castle? She's trying to get to the castle. She doesn't want to go to certain death. So, Jeopardy music playing. Do, do, do. So, let's, uh, if you want to look at the solution, um, here we go. I'm going to play it. So, let me jump ahead again and find the question that she asks. So, let me jump ahead a little bit. I tell the truth. Oh, what a lie. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> All right. Here it comes. Answer yes or no. Would he tell me that this door leads to the castle? Yes or no. Would he tell me this door leads to the castle? The other person. Yes. Then the other door leads to the castle, and this door leads to certain death. Oh. She's very fast. Have you not? He could be telling the truth. But then he wouldn't be. So if you told me that he said yes, I know the answer is no. But I could be telling the truth. But then he would be lying. So if you told me that he said yes, I know the answer would uh, still be no. Wait a minute. Uh, is that right? I don't know. I've never understood it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right. I figured it out. I can never do it before. I think I'm getting smarter. <laughs> okay, so it turns out she was right. That was the question to ask. So she asked the door on the left... Would the other door tell me that the door behind you leads to the castle? And he answered yes. So let's look at a couple variations here, and let's see why that was in fact a good question to ask. So suppose we were some omnipotent being, and we knew the correct answer. So we knew that, uh, that there was certain death on the, the left-hand door, and the door to the right went to the castle. Suppose we knew that, and we were just watching to see what would happen. So. So she asks that question to the person on the left. Let's assume that that person is the liar. So we know if that person is the liar, well, the person on the other side of the door, that's the truth teller. So the truth teller would answer no to that question because that door does not lead to the castle. The door behind the other person leads to certain death. So we know that the truth teller would in fact say no. Well, 
since the liar is a liar, he would claim that the other person would say yes. Okay, so that's one scenario that, okay, that makes sense. The liar would say that the truth teller would say, yes, the door behind him does lead to the castle, when it doesn't. So suppose she asks, so suppose instead the person on the left is actually the, the truth teller. Well, again, if she asks the, the, the truth teller, well, the person on the right would still say, yes, the door behind the truth teller leads to the castle because... He's lying. So that's why the yes answer in this case makes sense. And she's able to deduce that the other door actually leads to the castle. So when I first saw this problem, I was thinking, well, you know, different things could happen. What if she went and asked that question to the other door? What, what would the answer have to be? So, so suppose she asked the, the, the door on the right, and that's the door to which um, um, that would lead to the castle. So, so in that case, she would, if she asked the door on the right, well, the same question, the door would have to answer no. So if we get the answer no in that case, again, it must mean that behind the door on the right, there is a path to the castle. So why is that? So again, let's suppose that we, we speak to the person, and behind that person, there is the door to the castle. So initially, we talk to the person, and behind that person, the door went to certain death. So suppose we, the person we spoke to initially, though, the door to the castle was behind them. So if we speak to the liar first, okay, we know that the truth teller would actually say, yes, that's the correct door. But the liar would say, oh, the other person will say no because he's lying. Okay, so suppose we speak to the truth teller first. Well, we know that the truth teller, excuse me, we know that the liar would say, again, no, that's not the door to the castle, because he's lying. So again, in that case, if the answer had been no, we could deduce that whoever we were speaking to initially, behind them, that would be the door to the castle. So notice no other results are possible. So let's look at the very original scenario. So she went to the door, and behind that door, she was able to figure out that was the, the, the door to certain death. And again, suppose she asked that very initial question, would the other door person say that your door leads to the castle? She couldn't, that, that person couldn't answer no, because that's exactly what the truth teller would say. The truth teller would say no in that case, in which case the liar wouldn't be a liar anymore. He'd be telling the truth. So now we would have a contradiction to the fact that the liar is a liar. So uh, the same thing if we looked at the, if we, if we initially went to the person behind which, if, we, if the first person we talked to, the door behind them went to the castle, and we asked the same question, would the other door person say that the door behind you leads to the castle? It's not possible for them to answer yes, because again, one of two things is gonna happen. Either the liar is gonna end up telling the truth, or the truth teller is gonna be a liar. There you go. So the labyrinth puzzle dissected. So, you know, Sarah solved it lightning fast. She went through it really quickly. She's, she's, way more, she's way more intelligent than me. So I actually sat down and wrote out a couple of results. So if I went through it all a little quickly, think about it again. When you're done, if you've never seen it, go check out the labyrinth. Great movie. Um, if you don't like it, you can hold me personally accountable. So, all right, I hope you enjoy this puzzle. I think I spent way too much time on it, but I thought it was fun, so I thought I would share it to you. All right, have a good day, everybody.